Hey there and welcome to Motor Up. In this video, I'm reviewing something special, which is an attention magnet for the youngsters. Yes, you guessed it right. It's a bike. So which one is it? Have a look. Taking over your body. It's flowing through your mind. This feeling's got me on fire. Yes, it is the Yamaha YZF R15 V3 BSX. Such a long name, right? Yeah, it's all about letters. Now, let us let me begin with the workaround. But, but before that, let me mention about the specs of the engine. This comes with a 155cc liquid-cooled engine which produces 18.6 bhp of power and 14.1 Nm of torque. It is it's a very nice amount of power considering the capacity of this engine thanks to the high compression ratio. Now let me begin with the workaround. The biggest attention grabber of this machine is the front looks and the sleek looking LED headlights. There is this LED headlights with a very nice looking air vent which is definitely fake and the visor and this fully fair design. We have a texture finish on this lower fender. Now moving towards the side profile then we get this mirror and the front tires are not radial these are normal tires by mrf with 100 by 80 section tires and these are 17 inch alloy wheels with very nice looking disc brake which is big in size with dual channel abs now moving towards the side we have vva varial valve actuation badging along with abs badging and the r15 branding the Yamaha brand branding is given on the lower half and this area gets piano black finish while this gets only matte finish with this nice looking graphics. On the tank we have the Yamaha logo and there is a lot of cuts and creases in the tanks which definitely helps in the aerodynamics of this machine. There is the tank opener, the fuel filling cap and we have this front seats which is good in terms of cushioning and I think it is going to offer good comfort if you are an owner of Yamaha R15 do comment down below what you think about the comfort of this bike and there we have the engine whose packs I have already mentioned and the fairing continues till this particular area the foot packs are matte, are finished in metal and here is the exhaust which gets which gets the carbon fiber short of a finish along with black finishing and the silver finish and here is the badging of version 3 and we have plastic finish on this area on this area and also we get some nets net finish on the interior part of the fairing now moving to the tail section then the tail of this particular bike is inspired by the flagship r1 yes the flagship yamaha r1 we have nice looking led tail lights not the same of the yamaha r1 but yeah it looks like the same but the biggest lacuna of this bike is the indicators are not LEDs which is surprising. I would definitely expect to get LED indicators at this particular price point because it cost almost rupees 1.51 lakhs X showroom. And there is this tire hugger which definitely feels off according to me. What do you think? Again comment down below. And we have the rear tire which is 140 section and it gets 70 profile tires. The alloys are 17 inch and uh, I want to mention one thing that the front tire are not radial but the rear are definitely radial tires. We have disc brake with ABS because it of course got dual channel ABS and this bike can be used in the race track for sure. This is a 150cc but yeah you can use this in the race track as well as in a daily commuting. Now let me show you another interesting thing that is the instrument cluster of this bike. That gets a fully digital instrument cluster which says hi buddy when you start up. It gets a lot of information like there is the gear position indicator, there is the speedometer, we have tachometer, fuel gauge. Now if I am toggling through this then we have also the average, average speed, 
then we get odometer then we have the trip one trip two we have twin trip meters along with the trip fuel consumption and the clock and along with that we have the fuel consumed per 100 kilometers so this cluster is loaded with useful feature which i think we are going to use in on a daily basis now let me show you the switch gears then on the left side we have the pass by switch along with high beam low beam switch which definitely feels like it's carried from a scooter like the n torque and here we get the indicator switch indicator control along with the horn which is very loud because it gets dual horns we have the start stop the engine kill switch along with the start button on the right handlebar now let me mention a safety feature yeah you don't get any kind of airbag in this bike airbag in a bike how it's possible what i'm telling but anyways let's not digress the safety feature is the auto ignition cut if the side stand is on yes if you are turn if the side stand is open and you are turning on the bike and getting into the first gear then the bike is automatically going to turn off that's definitely a good safety feature a big thumbs up to yama for that particular feature yes i know now you want to listen to the exhaust note so listen it Now arriving at the verdict part should you buy one so if you are looking for a sporty motorcycle in 150 cc and you are an enthusiast or a youngster then this may be the perfect one for you but if you are not looking for this much power and want to save some money then you may go for the other 150 cc budget bikes like the apache or the yamaha fjs so thank you to all the viewers for watching this video You know it very well what you need to do like share and subscribe and even follow us on our social media handles that is Instagram and Telegram so thank you for watching this video once again bye bye guys sorry i catch you away